In today's video, we're going to discuss how to filter save searches by amount and how to highlight the information so that it's more graphically pleasing to identify and actually track transactions. So let's say what you want to look at are invoices that are over a certain amount on your list. There are two ways to get around this. You could either sort by amount just by clicking on the amount column. And when you do this, uh, NetSuite is just going to update the save search and filter by amount. So right now it's uh, ascending. I'm going to click again. It's going to be descending. So the largest amount first, and it's just going to go down like this. So what we could do is we could highlight these figures. So we could say, for example, if it's more, it's between 100 and 200, it's supposed to be a specific color uh, of a background. If it's between 300 and uh, or 200 and 700, it's another color. And if it's more than 700, it's another background color again. So the way to do this is click on Edit View. You're going to edit the list. So once you're on this section, click on uh, More Options. Right, so here what you're going to have is what a standard save search looks like. You're going to see your criteria, the results, and here you're going to see there's a sub menu called highlighting. So you're going to click on this and here I'm going to I'll highlight the uh, data, not the summary. Summary is whenever you group the, the results, you know, you put a summary type as group or sum, etc. Uh, we want to put a highlight on the normal unsummarized save search values. So let's say we want to put any invoice where the amount So I'm going to look for amount here and I'm going to say it's between okay or it's less than in, in that case I can say it's less than if it's less than, let's say, uh, 299,000, I'm going to click on Set. Then what do I want to do? Do I want to place an image? Do I want to change the text color? Or do I want to change the background color? I could make it bold. Let's just change the background color and put it to, let's say, yellow. Now we could... Uh, Come back to this and click on open again, and we're going to put a second criteria. But this time it's going to be between 300 and let's say 700,000. So we're still looking at the amount, and we're saying if it's between, let's say, 20, uh, well, 300,000 and let's say 700,000. What we'll do is we'll click on set and here we're going to make this maybe a little darker and that's it. And we'll end up with the final one where it's greater than, so it's the amount is greater than 700,000. And here we're going to put it even darker, maybe an orange color. Okay, so let's uh, let's save this and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so here it is. So the amount that's greater than seven hundred thousand is in the darker color. Okay. So of course you could be playing with this. You could be adding images instead of background colors. So for example, if I click on Edit View again. I could go to more options. And within the highlighting, instead of a background color, I'm going to delete this. Let's say I want to place an image. Um, so the small one I want to show, let's say, green flag 
here I'm going to put maybe a, an orange flag and here I'm going to put a red flag. Let's save this and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here you've got flags here on the left. You, you cannot sort by these flags, it's just uh, an image that's showing based on the condition that we set on the system. Uh, yeah, so you could bold the text too. It doesn't have to be just one. You could have um, you could have two changes in the formatting of the data. It could be uh, a flag, but it could also be the bolding of the text, for example. So if I go back to highlighting, I could say that I want to bold uh, whatever it's really a high value. Right, so I'm going to save that. So it's a red flag and I'm going to bold the text. And here, as you can see, the text is bold because it's over 700,000 in terms of amount. Uh, 